So you're an Iron Man and you finally want to go ahead and get yourself the Dragon Warhammer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and kill Lizardman Shamans on the Iron Man account to go ahead and get yourself a Dragon Warhammer. It's pretty much an essential item to start bossing and PVMing. You don't need it, but it does help a lot, especially for soloing things like God Wars Dungeon. It does however take a very long time to go ahead and get this item. It is a 1 in 5,000 chance to drop from a Lizardman Shaman, so this could take you anywhere from 1 hour if you get extremely lucky, all the way up to 80, 100, 200 plus hours. I know some Iron Man have went thousands and thousands of kills dry. Alright, so I'm going to show you what exactly you will need to kill the Lizardman Shaman. So this is the gear that I go ahead and take to Lizardman Shaman. You're going to want the Shazian armor. Now how you go ahead and get yourself the Shazian armor is by getting 100% in the Shazian house favor and going ahead and killing the level 5 soldiers in the combat ring. It's very easy to actually go ahead and do and they will drop all of the armor pieces for you. Now you can keep this armor in your house or wherever you want. It's uh, untradeable armor now what this armor actually does is it will give you a uh, a set effect where it reduces the damage of the acid splash attacked used by the lizardman shaman so it is honestly pretty necessary to take this or you're going to just be getting hit a ton of damage if you want to go ahead and take the slayer helmet instead of the regular helmet say you get these on tasks you can do this after you complete the um hard kebos diaries and then you you're going to need to go ahead and speak to the captain clive and uh he'll teach you how to use the slayer helmet in place of the Shazian helmet when fighting the Lizardman Shamans. This is really good because basically if you go ahead and look at my stats right now, if I put the Slayer helmet on, I get a little bit more defense bonus and a little bit more attack bonus as well, and you can do these on task. Even if you're not on task, the Slayer helmet is still better to take, so if you have the hard diary complete, take the Slayer helmet. Other than that, um, I take the Rada's Blessing 4, I take the um, Assembler, I take a Toxic Blowpipe, and then uh, for my next slot, I wear an a Necklace of Anguish. You could just use a Fury or even a Glory. And then for the Ring slot, I bring the Ring of Suffering because it has a really nice prayer bonus. You could just take an Archer's Ring or even something as simple as like a Ring of Wealth. It doesn't really matter too much. Now, as for the inventory, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. I like to try and stay at these trips as long as I possibly can. Um, so you might want to take more potions than I do. I'm going to be doing an hour test in this video to see how much experience and GP we can make. So I'm going to bring a couple ranging potions, two antidotes potions, um, a bunch of prayer potions because you will be camping eagle eye and protect from range the entire time. So you could take, when you get more comfortable with this, take more prayer and less food. I bring a little bit of emergency food. Um, the other ways we're going to be healing is the toxic blowpipe special attack and I also take bones to peaches which they drop big bones so you can actually go ahead and pick a ton of the big bones up turn them into peaches and the peaches heal eight which is actually really nice and also make sure to go ahead and take some alchemy runes they drop a ton of alchemables and you can actually make a decent amount of money here without getting the dragon warhammer drop now the best way of getting here is actually going to the farming guild, so I'm going to go ahead and go there right now. Another option you could go ahead and do is use the farrowing code CIR and then just pretty much run completely south. If you do use the farming guild, you're going to do pretty much the same thing, just run down here into where this area is. So I'm going to go ahead and start running there right now. Um, pretty much uh, obviously leave the farming guild first and then start running down the area. Some people actually actually tend to bring stamina potions here as well because you do run out of run energy and that can be extremely helpful because they're, there's the mechanics with these guys is they will shoot out little guys and you pretty much have to run away from them so if you want to take a stamina potion I personally don't because I just hate wasting stamina potions to be completely honest but anyways you get to this dark area right here and uh, then go right here where it says the lizard dwelling just enter this little gate right here and you will be down in the cave now keep in mind this area will probably be pretty packed so you might have to hop a couple of times to find yourself a world 
Um, we might have to hop. Actually, it looks like we're good. So I like to kill them in the first room here. If not, you can go ahead and kill them in the second room or just hop worlds. So if I go ahead and speak to this guy right here, um, he will actually tell you how many lizardmen you have killed. So do you know how many lizardmen I've killed? He'll say that I've killed 1,800 lizardmen and uh, 1,032 of them were the lizardmen shaman. So I'm about 20% of the drop rate ne uh, right now. So wish me luck. All right, so how you pretty much want to go ahead and start this is by drinking a range potion, drinking an antidote, and then you can put your prey, oh, thank you, Posty. You can put your prey from missiles and eagle eye on and go ahead and enter the room. Now, I'm going to show you guys how you can take the least amount of damage as you possibly can. So as you can see, I have these two marked tiles on the ground, um, this side and then this corner right here as well. Um, pretty much if you stay on these sides he can't do this jump attack where he'll jump and just stomp on you and you will deal a lot of damage so if you stay on these two sides you can avoid that attack now these are the little purple guys that spawn and once they spawn um, after a few seconds they will explode and if you're standing right beside them you will take a lot of damage but if you run away um, you'll pretty much avoid the damage it's very easy honestly to go ahead and kill these lizardmen shaman if you do it um long term anyways you kind of just get used to it and uh after um th they die they drop big bones they drop food alcables and stuff like that so you could last here as long as you pretty much want to right there as you can see one of the purple guys splashed on me i took a little bit of damage but as long as you stay on the the south and the um west wall you should not take that much damage from the jumping attack sometimes if i go and grab an item that's say in the middle here or something like that um that will happen and you'll take a bit of damage that way but other than that just stay at these two sides keep an eye on your prayer keep an eye on your health and make some peaches whenever you need to so um i'm gonna go ahead and reset my experience that i've gained and i also i'm gonna reset my um my kill tracker we're gonna do this for a full hour see how much xp and see how much money we can make in the hour who knows we might even get ourselves the dragon warhammer that would be pretty epic i highly doubt it but yeah we could as you can see like look, these alcables already adding up so much let's we'll see if i can get them to do the jump attack i can just show you guys this if you're not standing on the walls <laughs> of course he's not gonna do it see right there and he'll jump somewhere like right here and he'll do a lot of damage if you're not on these two walls so yeah that's pretty much all you have to go ahead and look out for fairly simple all right so the hour timer starts now see you guys if anything interesting happens or at the end of the hour all right so we are right now 20 35 minutes in my bad 35 minutes in and we ran out of prayer potions so i'm gonna have to go ahead and bank so it looks like that amount of prayer potions were able to um get me 35 ish minutes into the grind so we're gonna go ahead quickly go to the bank not wasting much time at all and um i have all the loot tracked on the side we've already killed 70 lizard men so that's pretty good um and for the experience so far we've gained 42,000 range so let me just quickly bank get all this stuff out and go right back okay timer i get it it is done the hour is fully officially done now so i'm gonna kill this last shaman here because you never know man whenever i'm here i'm like it's gonna be the next kill nope nope it's gonna be the next kill oh maybe not <laughs> all right to the poh now honestly a solid hour overall for the exp we gained 23,000 hp we gained 71,000 range and 1200 magic just from high elking and obviously casting the bones to peaches which actually helps a ton here now obviously the loot is amazing man so if you are going dry at the dragon warhammer or you want to go ahead and camp it 827k gained in the hour now we did went go ahead and get a dragon fruit c which is 160k even if you minus that still 700k an hour absolutely crazy man and then you go ahead and get the dragon warhammer as well just pretty crazy overall we got two of these uh inserts here as well so that is a total of whatever it was 300 or 220 um four of the lizardman fangs all together and we we obviously banked one as well so 334 of the fangs as well eventually you need 5,000 to go ahead and build it in your house so not too bad man 
Well, I'm going to be camping at the um, Lizardman Shamans for the next probably month. I don't even really care how long it takes. We are going to get a Dragon Warhammer on the Iron Man account. So um, I'm probably going to document the whole thing, see how many kills it goes and takes. We've done over a thousand kills now, so hopefully only another 4,000 to go, not another 10, 20,000. But we will get it. Mark my words, and I will document the whole thing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you went ahead and watched the whole video, comment 116 down in the comments below. Thank you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.